On a typical Sunday morning, 80% of the people who attend Park Lake Church get a view like this. But that's not all there is to Park Lake Church. All over this building, there are people who are being ministered to. True fizz, the carbonation in a church, doesn't come from a huge crowd. It doesn't come from big buildings. It doesn't come from programs that are being offered. The true strength, the true carbonation, the true fizz in a church comes when people are willing to serve. Carbonated churches don't get that way from music, a message, or programs. Real carbonated churches, those that are growing and have a lot of fizz, are the churches that have understood that it's each member's role to be a minister. And so they find somewhere that they've been gifted and talented, that they're passionate about, and they get to serving others. That's where the real fizz comes. Did you know that a first time guest to a church usually makes up his or her mind whether they're going to attend again in the first 11 minutes? That's before a song is sung or a message is preached. It comes directly from the fizz that they detect in the people around them who are greeting them, who are welcoming them. Those who are teaching their children, those who are welcoming their children into the nursery, those who are helping them find a seat, those who may even help them park their car. Those are the churches that have the most fizz. And the truth is, our nursery needs your fizz. Our children's ministry needs your fizz. Our youth department needs your fizz. Our adult grow groups and life groups need your fizz. Our worship team needs your fizz. See, the truth is, you've got it in you. Don't think that you don't, you do. But here's the real question. Are you willing to share your fizz with us?